Hello to you, and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Hello to you. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Ambitious Little Learners YouTube channel. I am Miss H, and I am so happy to see you on today. Tell me how you're feeling. Are you feeling happy, happy? If so, let me see a big smile. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit sad on today, and that's okay. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit sleepy. You might even be feeling a little bit mad. However you are feeling, I hope after watching today's video, your heart is filled with just a little bit more joy. Today, friends, we are going to talk about numbers. Yeah, numbers are all around us each and every day. But we are going to work on building our number sense. So we might know the symbols that represent numbers, but can we count and match those symbols to their quantities? Today, we are going to check out the book, Surrounded by Numbers. And this book was written by Latasha Martin and illustrated by Vera Salina. Let's check it out. Surrounded by Numbers. Hey, I have a secret that I want to share with you. Did you know that we are surrounded by numbers? Yeah, I couldn't believe it myself. Every time I look around, a number pops up. I'm telling you that they are everywhere. Be on the lookout. Are you guys ready yet? We have to go. The store opens at 10 o'clock today. Mom shouts upstairs. We are ready. We all sang downstairs. The truth is, I am not ready. I can't find my other sock. Wait, wait, let me back up some. Hi, I'm Isaiah. This is my brother, Irie, and my sister, Naya. We are supposed to be dressed by now, but I can't find my other sock. I have one blue sock when I should have a complete pair, which is two. I look under my bed and I found three toys, but not my other blue sock. I think my brother has it. Hi, Ree, have you seen my other blue sock? I asked. No, check in my sock drawer, replied Irie. Which drawer is that? It is the fourth one. I can't find it. It's not in there, states Isaiah. Go check Naya's room, said Irie. He rushed out. You better hurry up. Mom is ready to go. Naya, have you seen my other blue sock? Asked Isaiah. No, it might be downstairs, suggested Naya. You need to hurry up. We need to leave in five minutes. It is time to go. Everybody come downstairs, Mama shouts. Why aren't you dressed yet? We are getting ready to leave, his mother asked. I still can't find my favorite blue sock. I have checked everyone's rooms, Isaiah pointed out. Sweetheart, you have worn those socks six times. Let's try a different pair for today, suggested Mom. I will grab your green socks instead. Okay, Mom said Isaiah. Great, we are all ready to go, exclaimed mom. Where are we going, I asked. We are going to run some errands, explained mom. Our first stop is to the dry cleaners. I love looking out the window, counting the cars while mom is driving. How many cars do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I counted seven other cars on the road. Okay, we are here. Our first stop is the dry cleaners. Which store is the dry cleaner? Asked Isaiah. It is the third store on the right, answered mom. I was surprised by the number of people already in line to drop off their clothes. My mom was the sixth person in line. I 
I thought we were going home once we walked out of the store, but my sister wanted to go to the clothing store. It was two stores down. I hopped the whole way to the store. How many jumps did I take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Isaiah took nine hops to the store. Once we entered the store, Naya went straight for the jewelry section. Mom, can I buy this? Naya asked with a necklace in her hands. Sure, go ahead, Mom said. That will be nine dollars, ma'am, requested the store clerk. I started counting in my head how much money Mom had to give her. It seemed like a lot. Now can we go home? I asked my mother. No, not yet. We still have one more store to go to, revealed mom. This is our last stop, I promise. Isaiah's mom told him as she rubbed his back. We only need a few things from the grocery store, assured mom. I really do enjoy going to the grocery store. My mom always buys us a treat when we go with her. Let's make this a quick trip, suggested mom. Irie and Naya go to aisle 12 and grab milk, yogurt, cheese, eggs, and butter. Isaiah and I will go to aisle 11 for bread and crackers. We will meet in front of aisle eight. Okay, team, break, mom says in her best coach voice. Okay, let's double check to make sure we have everything, suggested mom. Let's count our items in the basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have everything, I told mom. We are now ready to check out. This line is too long, complained Naya. We should look for a shorter one. I don't want know what Naya is complaining about. This is the shortest line, Isaiah said, as he compared each line. Isaiah, help, help Isaiah count the customers in each line to figure out if his family is in the shortest checkout line. Here is the line that Isaiah and his family are in. There are one, two, three people in front of them. In this line, there are one, two, three, four, five people in front of them. This line, there are one, two, three, four people. And in this line, there are one, two, three, four, five. I think they are in the shortest line. Do you think Isaiah and his family are in the shortest line? There are only three customers in front of them. Isaiah and his family won't have to wait that long to check out. That didn't take us long, implied mom. We are done for the day. Are you ready to go home? Yes, we all said. We went to a lot of places today, said Isaiah. We only went to a few places, explained Irene. How much is a few? asked Isaiah. A few means a small number. It could be between two and five items, explained Irene. So we went to a few stores because mom had to go to three different places, asked Isaiah. You got it, little bro, smiled Irene. I am happy that we are going home, stated Isaiah. We had a busy day and I'm ready for lunch. Do you remember all of the places Isaiah and his family went today? They went to the dry cleaner, they went to the clothing store, and they went to the grocery store. They went to three places. Let's put away all the items that we bought, said mom. I'll take my necklace upstairs, requested Naya. Isaiah and I will put away the groceries, stated Irie. Thanks guys, replied mom. Wash your hands and I will get lunch started. Today was a fun day. I love spending time with my family, gushed Isaiah. I can't wait for our next adventure. Were you able to find all the numbers in the book? Math is everywhere we go. When you go out with your family, search for the hidden numbers. V N. 
Wow, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. And I hope the next time you go out for an adventure with your family, you have your eyes peeled for the numbers that are all around you. Moms, dads, grownups, and caregivers, make sure you stay tuned so I can show you two fun and quick activities that you can do with your child to help build their number sense. Take care and thank you so much for watching. Moms, dads, grownups, and caregivers, for this quick and fun activity, you are going to need leftover empty Easter eggs and you're also going to need a Sharpie. Who said Easter egg hunts were only for Easter? Go ahead and find a way to reuse those leftover Easter eggs that you have hanging around the house instead of you throwing them in the garbage. So what you're going to do is you're going to take apart the eggs. So you have two parts and then you're simply going to write the number on the top of the egg and then on the bottom portion of the egg you're going to draw that many circles. If your child is just now getting a sense of numbers and building their number sense, I would only do numbers one through five, but if your child is a little bit more proficient, go ahead and make eggs for numbers one through 10. Once your eggs are complete, you're going to go ahead and leave the two parts of the egg separated and hide them in different places around your home. And then once your child has found all of the pieces, you want to encourage them to go ahead and match the number with the quantity. And you can do this over and over again. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can mix and match the colors so that way your child is not looking for the exact color top and bottom. Another quick and fun activity to help build your child's number sense is roll and count. So for this activity, you're going to need cotton balls or another small object, a die, tweezers, nail tweezers work just as well, and a small bowl. These tweezers or similar tweezers can be found at your local Dollar Tree. So this game is very simple. You're simply gonna have your child roll the dice and the number that they roll is how many cotton balls they pick up using the tweezers and add to the bowl. This game, is gate, this game is great because it helps to build your child's number sense, but using the tweezers also helps them practice their fine motor skills and build their finger strength to get them prepared to hold pencils. Thank you so much for watching this video on Ambitious Little Learners YouTube channel. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can stay updated with all things Ambitious Little Learners. Also feel free to check out our website for products we offer and our blog. See you next time.